A powerful explosion in the Libyan capital Tripoli. One of four heard today. Apparently, a NATO airstrike. Shortly afterwards, Libyan television broadcast these pictures, showing it said Colonel Gaddafi driving through the streets at the time of the raid. Yet another gesture of defiance, as NATO was discussing how to increase the military pressure to force him out of power. Thank you very much. Ministers from Britain and France went into the meeting in Berlin, calling for more countries to contribute planes for the airstrikes on Libya. But the NATO Secretary General came out afterwards to announce there'd been very little response to this request so far. I don't have uh, specific pledges or promises from this meeting, but I heard indications that give me uh, hope. And by nature, I'm an, I'm an optimist. But for the rebels fighting a desperate battle here in the besieged city of Misrata in western Libya, time is of the essence. They pick their way through the narrow alleys to avoid snipers in the buildings around them. Colonel Gaddafi's forces are well dug in here and have been firing rockets into the city, turning it into a wasteland. And according to the rebels, killing more than 20 people today. Without sufficient heavy weapons or military training to break the siege of Misrata, the rebels have also been pleading for more airstrikes. For them, it's the only realistic way of tipping the balance in their favour before all momentum is lost. Richard Galpin, BBC News.